So, yeah, I, at this point, yeah, yeah, I know. I come off very, very harsh, okay? Yeah, I shout, I get pissy, whatever. You got to understand, I have been dealing with these salt wars from people for the last four years. The last four years, I have been dealing with these salt wars with people for the last four years. And I'm not mad at anyone for questioning. I really am not. But you have to understand this. I have a book that's out that explains the evolution of the Jilly Juice Protocol from the pink salt to the white salt. I have videos that are out. And I understand some of you are new on my Facebook. Some of you, you know, don't ha didn't have the background. And now you're asking and you all come in at different times. But I got to say, I got to say this. When I say get my book, get the book, it explains. I have videos in the pin post in my business page. It says table salt is not poison. Do you realize everything that you've ever learned in the holistic allopathic world is all brainwashing by those that are trying to control your lifespan? They're trying to scare you away from the white salt because white salt is the most energizing force you could ever get as far as it energizes your immune system and cell generation as long as it's backed by the right constituents. But here's the thing, people don't want to feel pain. And I don't know, Olivia, what your relationship to pain is, but if you have a very bad relationship to pain and symptoms and you have been trying to anesthetize yourself, anesthetize yourself for many, many years, you may not be a candidate for J-Juice. I don't know your personal background. I don't want to know your, your medical history. It's none of my business. But every single medical history, every single symptom is a body trying to survive and you have not given it what it needs. And that's why people suffer pain all the way up until they die. And they're trying to get on morphine and they try to get on all these different painkillers and to no avail because the body is desperately trying to live. So that's why pain exists. At some point, you will reverse all of your issues. At some point, you will not feel pain once you're actually able to regenerate at the micro level and release all the excess antibodies. But I'm telling you, pink salt is full of heavy metals it's minerals do you realize you get minerals in the air you get mineral minerals in the food supply you get minerals in the water the tap water that's why we don't use distilled water so when you're taking pink salt or black salt or sea salt a heavy mineralized salt you are actually impeding the energy and then you're causing more heavy metal buildup because now you have less energy which is the white salt more of the heavy metals you're going to be even more uh constipated, restricted, um, uh, laden down by excess minerals in your body. See, the Jilly Juice has that white salt because it's the energizing force. Now, in the beginning, the pink salt, because I'm still buying into the holistic industry. But then at some point, when you guys are have not been doing enough the J Juice, like I drank a shiz ton amount of the pink salt with the Jilly Juice because I had an intention. But I did plateau. And then when all of this COVID crap came around and I was concerned with the, the international trade when we're going to get pink salt. I said, well, you know what? Hold on a second. White salt is probably more expeditious. It's more focused and directed. And you still get the minerals in the tap water. You get the minerals in the food supply. You get minerals in the air. You get minerals in your environment. There's no reason why you should have now a second, third, fourth um, way to get minerals in the salt. You know, there's nothing. Bleach salt is where they take out the excess minerals because you're already getting it in your water, your food supply, in your air. Bleach salt is now getting straight to the source. It's like straight source. It's straight fucking energy. And the reason why people don't like the straight white salt is because they don't want to feel their evolution. Because salt does instigate an evolution in your body, a healing if you have enough of the constituents. See, here's the thing. When people have um, a limit, a limited amount of nutrients and minerals in our body, mind, and spirit, and they take salt, the body is going to try to uh, repair damage. You're going to feel pain. And then why people die because they're, they're, they had a heart attack or stroke is because they didn't have enough of the nutrients and the minerals in their body to see them another day. See, so when, when you die from a heart attack and stroke, not even doing J-juice, it's because your body did not have enough what it took to be able to handle the reparations overnight. And that's why, that's where most of all these heart attacks and strokes happen is overnight during your body's reparation process. 
So the J juice is still going to have help you deal with your predispositions, but now you have the right chemistry, which is the cabbage and the kale and the probiotics, and then the salt is the energizing force, and this is why you see rapid healing. Okay, but if you take all this pink salt, which has those minerals, and it does cause more yeast buildup too. But hey, I didn't know all this back in the beginning, but I was still able to heal despite all that because I still needed the salt, I still needed the minerals and all of that, but eventually you do plateau with the pink salt. So that's why I re-released my, my first book was because some people don't want to have that, that major aggressive healing process with the white salt, but some of you will not be able to, um, to get to the next level because you've already exhausted your resources with the pink salt. So that's why I say merge the two salts together. You can, I've taken my pink salt and added like 40 pounds of white salt, okay? And I'm seeing amazing, amazing. And having more salt than minerals in your salt is going to then give you that energizing force. And yes, you're going to have expeditious healing. Yes, you're going to have to feel all your damn predispositions. But if you are the type that takes painkillers and your holistic remedies and your cannabis and you have a lot of different predispositions, you have a lot of stuff in your background, you know, you may not be a candidate for J-Juice. Nobody tries J-Juice. Either you do it or you don't do it. Either you want to live or you want to die. There's only two absolutes in this world. But nobody just tries J-Juice. You have to know what it's like. You have to do your research. You have to understand what it is you're getting yourself into. Because, yes, if you are one of those that wants to anesthetize yourself, then J-Juice will not be something you would even consider as a possibility. You'd like the idea of it, but you couldn't possibly handle what it would actually take to face your demons. I know this because I've dealt with so many different people within the last four years of the rollout of J-Juice. I know so many different types of people, and I know some people are not a candidate for J-Juice because they don't have what it takes to heal. They don't have what it takes to stick with it. They don't have what it takes to even do the research. And they definitely don't have what it takes to even, you know, uh, just listen and follow directions, simple directions. If you can't follow and listen to simple directions, I get my book or no questions, read it, figure it out. You can't mess up then there's no way you're going to stay with the long haul and actually see the benefits. There's no fucking way. And so I know some of you will not be able to handle the J-Juice. So you don't try J-Juice. You understand what it does and you, and, and you, and you understand, and then, then you do it and you stay with it or you have all this skepticism, you're fearful, you're on a string of cannabis drugs and everything else and really possibly you, you cannot possibly face your demons. So that's why I am what I am, because I know who, I, who I'm dealing with. I know who exactly I'm dealing with with people, because most people out there cannot handle their demons or even much less face them. But they want to be awake. They want to seem like they know what's going on. But when it, right, when it comes right down to it, to actually change the world, they have to change themselves. And they don't have that capacity to change themselves. And maybe they know it and that's why they hate me. That's why, you know, whatever. And, and I'm okay with that. But at least you have the options. Okay? You have all the information in front of you. And now you have to choose. Life or death. You know, salt is a very cheap out there because we live in a dying universe. We live in a dying world. People who are dying do not want to feel alive. They want to keep being anesthetized. And then go out with a bang with pleasure playing with their hormones, tantric sex, whatever it is, all their hobbies, the drinking, the drugs, and all that crap, women and men and, 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 and just, you know, whatever makes them feel good on their way out. That's the world that we live in. That's why salt is so cheap. But when people actually want to live, salt will be a hot commodity. I'm kind of thanking God that most people out there don't want to live because that way I can get the salt very inexpensive. It's $7 for 50 pounds where I'm at. That's fucking cheap. So, good luck to all of you. And Olivia, I hope you understand where I'm coming from. I come off very harsh. Most people cannot handle me. If you can't handle me when I'm like getting triggered, especially on the salt, you will not be able to handle the J juice. But the fact that you're able to handle my reactions and you didn't completely, you know, get triggered by me says that you might be able to handle the J juice. I'm hoping so. All right, bye.